Tour Truck Tuesday. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe and follow. It's mid-season. Where are you at with your golf game? By now, you should be dialed. You should be focusing on targets when it comes to being on the golf course, and you should have feel building up. You've been playing through the spring. The big tournaments are coming, or they've passed, and you've got clubs that are performing or things that you want to improve. Capturing data will help you do that, but are you giving yourself the best chance to play well when you get to the golf course. And that's what today's Tour Truck Tuesday upload is all about. I have seen the best players in the world loosen up at tour events when it comes to practice days and also when it comes to performing in tournaments. There's a big difference and that's what we're gonna talk about. Any tweaks that you make in your golf bag now, they need to be based on what you're seeing. Don't just go making a change because you think it's needed. You're gonna have data, but we also know how we start in a round of golf might not be what we want and how we perform. Sometimes you get to the range and you're just not feeling it on that morning. Does that impact how you go and play or does it change it? It shouldn't. But are you approaching this warm up in the correct way? So start at home, go through your routine, give yourself some time. Don't speed into that golf course parking lot, run to the car and off you go. Try and stretch, try and loosen up. Drink a coffee in the morning if that's what you need. Monitor the intake as to how much caffeine you have. Try not to do things out of routine, but pace yourself. The best players in the world are doing this. I'm not asking you if you've got a seven o'clock tea time, I'm expecting you to get up super early, but try and pace yourself and give yourself some time. As it comes to those first few shots, read the turf. Go through any stretches you've got. Try and feel the club. Try to get a feel of the weight. You know how these clubs perform now. One-handed movements where you're just feeling the turf, that's acceptable. I've been on ranges where Tiger's got to a golf course. He hasn't even put his glove on. He simply held it in his left hand like this and he's just literally felt the club. And I've been stupid enough to say to him, you know, what are you, what are you doing? What are you feeling there? And his response is, I'm just trying to move. That's it, I'm just trying to move. I'm just trying to literally just not read anything into the shot. And then what you'll notice the best players in the world will do, they'll move around. So they'll go target there, and then they'll flip one at the end there. They won't feel anything. If it's not the shot that they want, they'll hit another one. And they're not looking at, where it goes. Great day today at the Kingdom for this because there's not a flag out there. Maintenance crew's doing a bit of work. They're not even looking at targets. One minute you'll get them aiming over there and the next it'll be over here. And that is where I think you should start. Don't get in the golf shop the 25 or the 50 balls or the 75 bucket, whatever it is you choose, and then come out there and expect you've got to hit them all. Just try and get the feel. So again, I'm just gonna ping one over here. No particular yardage. Now I've got the glove on. Pick a sort of target, sort of target. Not even being specific yet. And just get moving. So again, I'm feeling it. I want my body to rotate. Usually most of us amateurs, we sit at a desk. We don't move well enough. We don't rotate. I want my body to rotate. So that one was just pinged over there. I've got the wind off my left shoulder. Just getting moving, just getting some movement, just keeping it nice move. So they were a bit of speed, nice and shallow. Don't read too much into it. Pick, I usually skip two clubs. I've gone 56, now I've gone pitching wedge. Start again, no real target at this stage. I'm still just getting moving and it's just feel the turf. Now I want to start adding in maybe some turf interaction. The body's starting to move. First real proper golf shot was that one. Just a 50% feel. Change target. Let's go left edge of the green there. Left edge of the green, not too specific. Left edge of the green. 
Nice. Again, routine, stay in it, drop down. So go through this process. No alignment sticks needed, no anything. Now we're at the eight iron, start to get more specific again. So there's a green out there, wind is off the left. Let's just hit one straight at it. Hit the wind and turned a little bit to the right. Great golf shot. Intermediate target. Normally I'd suggest picking a divot or something. I'm gonna lay this down to give me a guideline. That's pretty good. Set yourself up. Club face goes in first. Body goes in. That's important. A lot of us aim up like, and then chop like an ax murderer. Horrific. Don't wanna see that. I wanna see face going in first then the body, see the shot, go. And these just aren't even full power yet. These are just getting the movements that you want. Clean the club, stay in routine, get the sequence, drop down two clubs, six iron, set up to it, same target, got the alignment rod if I want it, and just move. And you can see the consistency is building with each shot. So now I'm at a point where, change the flight, let's go back foot. I might need this shot on the golf course. Let's just feel one. Great, absolutely perfect. That's a golf shot. Again, going through the gears, change the club. Four iron. I mean, I've only hit six, seven, eight balls. Keep everything in rhythm. Notice how I'm coming back here. Let's hit a fade now. Haven't hit one of those yet. So a fadey one, down the left, go. Awesome. Okay. And work within the boundaries of what you can do. Can you hit fades? Can you hit, don't try now and be a hero. Let's hit a drawy one. So just aiming to the right now, again, Notice, club went in first, and that's why I've got that stick. It, if you don't want to put a stick down, you just go over a divot. Club goes in first. We know my fade has a good feel, my draw has a good feel. Uh, sorry, my fade has a good feel, does my draw. Look up at the target. A little low in the blade, but you know what? It's done the job. Club goes down. Two shots with each club for me. Put the four iron back in the bag. Grab the three wood. Take a peg. Make it easy. We're trying to build confidence in the process. We're not trying to damage confidence, we're trying to build it. Same target, what shot do you want to hit? Be decisive. Step off it, I'm not decisive. What shot do I want to hit? Picture the shot. Okay, let's do hole three, goat hill. Draw one off the green. Be decisive. It's on a tee peg, into breeze, push the ball back a bit, lower, draw. Don't hate it, review it. I had a shot, didn't I? I had a code, stayed out to the right, but I didn't hate it. Same deal, right, club goes in, ball back, low draw. Great golf shot, pick up the peg, think about the next one, okay. Do you wanna hit any more with this? You know what? I don't, let's go driver. And all the while, you're just feeding the confidence. So there's a breeze up there. I'm gonna start with a low driver, get particular on it. I'm gonna hit the fade. Okay, low driver, fade. That's my feel. That's great, love it. And then I'm gonna go high T, try to ignore the wind. This one's tough to do. Try and think about a hole where you might need this shot. Let's think about it, um, 15. Go, hill, high fade. Perfect for there, okay. High draw then, let's just get the opposite. That's another thing I want you to do now. You're trying to feel shots. So now you gotta feel the opposite. So the high fade, that was okay. You pictured it in your mind. Now I want the high draw. Great. This is not 
a demonstration of hitting goal. That's not what it's intended to be. It's intended to be a demonstration of feel because I see too many golfers out there now. I've fallen victim to it too. They get caught in the weeds of hitting the golf shots. They get caught in a place where they're just killing themselves. You don't play the game in June, July, August by putting pretty swings on it. You don't go changing your golf clubs now unless there's a disaster and there's something that is flagged out or Taylor made have brought something out brand new and you just gotta have it. I'm cool with that. But you have to be dialed. You have to warm up properly. Then the final one, because I like to hit even numbers with my clubs, the final one is just hit that first tee shot. So let's pick a golf course. Let's pick Carnoustie. Um, first hole, you've got out of bounds down the left. You've got half of Scotland to the right. And let's just hit a nice one into the breeze that goes down that right side. So boom, boom. Okay, what am I thinking? Pick the sand dunes, pick the one you want to hit it at and just send it. Absolutely stoked with that. Off you go. Great golf course. And that's it. Done. I've hit what? 15 balls maybe? Has to be an even number for me, so probably 16. That's it. I might, from here, dependent on how the golf course is laid out, I might go and hit a few chips, might go and hit a few bunkers. I'll definitely go and hit a few putts. But all in all, warm-up's over, it's done. And I'll finish on a putt that goes in the hole. Absolutely. I've read stuff in the past about avoiding that length that you miss. I'll hit pace putts to the corners of the greens. If I'm really struggling, I'll, the only thing I will do personally is have a metronome on, 67 beats a minute, just to give me a sound. So a tick and a tick. I'll tell you what, I'll take you there and show you. So let's cruise. Let's go to the putting green. Let me show you what I'm talking about. A metronome, a sound, 67 beats per minute. I'm gonna get everything into where it needs to be in terms of pacing my day. I've just hit it great, I'm ready to go. Now I want to get a sound, an audio, and a feel, but on the greens, so that when I stand on that first hole, I'm ready to make the putt. So at this point, I might have chipped, I might have hit a couple of bunk shots, but now I'm just getting the feel, and I'm getting the sound. You've got the beats per minute going there. One is the backstroke, one is the strike. Hit to the fringe, hit to a target if you want, but don't get connected with trying to make it. Just lose yourself in those sounds. See where you're going. I even don't mind the eyes just staying there, but lose yourself in the sound. And all the while, you're just trying to match the audio. It's crucial when it comes to setting the tone for the day. Without the right tone, without the right feel, you can't make anything. So you'd go through this routine. Then you're left maybe finishing out. So for example here, a couple of short ones. Routine, tick, tock, in, look, in, look, back, go, like it. Next putt, in, look, in, look, go, hit. Rhythm set, yep, feel, I wanna maybe hit some more, maybe some breaking ones, but I'm not getting emotionally connected too heavily to anything other than the rhythm and the cadence of how I want my game to go. That is it, simple. 16 balls, couple of chip shots, couple of sand shots, feel, 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 and then this. Finish on a hold putt, go to the first tee, do the same process of picking a target. Aim small, visualize and see the shot, and then go. I clearly painted the picture of the first tee at Carnoustie, what it looked like, what I wanted to do, and then I went. It's all you can do. After that, what happens to the golf ball when it's gone, it's gone. You can't impact it. All these players that stand there on the range and they're going through a thousand and one things, or they stand there and they get so caught up in the moment that they can't take the club away. No one around you can impact you when you hit that golf shot. That is the key you must understand. This is not a boxing match. It's a game of golf. So you control when you go and you control how you flow. It's as simple as that. It's July, August, it's golf season. You should be enjoying it. You should be getting the results you want. If you don't get out your own way, you can't. 
this is an imperative video for how your season is going to end. Take note here, you'll be a lot better, I guarantee you. Till next Tour Truck Tuesday, give that a whirl and let me know.